Hello guys, Sorin here. Welcome back to our uh, next uh, video from the series Top 5 Tips for Marketing with Facebook Live. Uh, now I want to show you exactly the steps that you need to follow in order to have and host a Facebook Live on your own. So let's dive into the information. First step, first of all, you need to update your Facebook smartphone app to the latest version. I am telling you that because I had that problem. I hadn't updated my Facebook app on my iPhone for more than four months now and the button for Facebook Live didn't appear. I, have to ab I had to update my app and now it works very, very well. So be sure to update your Facebook smartphone app. Then after you, uh, after you do that, log into your account then go to your status update to test to see if it works and if you press to write something this will appear to you okay you will have the button to share a live video next step after you enter on the page on your profile on the group where you want to host your facebook live confirm your li live event after going through the first button in the group slash page slash profile on the next screen so a uh, next screen will appear on your phone after you press the button for Facebook Live and you have to continue to practically confirm your Facebook Live. Then you have to describe your live video in the next page. Be sure to have a very good description, something that uh, attracts the attention of your audience, something that, that stands out and that is also representative for what you want to do and share in your Facebook Live. After that you press the button go live and congratulations you are now live on facebook i know that this is not probably my best image but this was an example for you guys to see exactly how it works obviously when you want to end your facebook live you press the button finish but not yet you can add filters to your facebook live if you want to okay just like on instagram you have different types of filters like pop classical country and so on that change the, that changes the way your video looks like after you add your filters you go again to the facebook live and if you want to end the facebook live you press finish after you press finish this will happen practically what you see in the left image ending live video will appear to you it will be like a loading circle or something like that and after that ends the next screen will appear to you that you can see uh, in the right side of the slide where practically your live video was uploaded in the facebook group page or wherever you hosted the facebook live and you can also save the video to your camera roll okay uh, practically you press the button done and it will be uploaded on that group page which is actually pretty pretty cool afterwards you can edit that post but we will talk more about that in the tips section uh, now a couple of new features that are uh, are coming very very soon with facebook live they have just been announced uh, so practically the introduction to these new features uh, they will also have interview style streaming which is actually pretty cool because I am sure that a lot of people for example podcasters can use this type of, uh, of live streaming you will be able to do pre-scheduling for your live videos uh, practically uh, that will allow you to to captivate the attention and uh, and uh, create like expectancy for your viewers okay uh, and also you will have waiting rooms for your attendees before you start the Facebook live just like in a webinar okay uh, they will be able to practically wait in a room uh, before before starting your Facebook live so you, they don't just come in and jump on your Facebook live and uh, or wait on your page till your Facebook is live they practically are in a waiting room and afterwards you can start your Facebook live so these are very cool new, new features that Facebook will introduce so uh, be aware of this because you will have a great use of them thank you very much guys for your attention uh, now in the next video we'll talk about the top five tips that you can use at this moment to uh, practically have a better marketing with facebook live and to get better results with facebook live thank you very much for your attention guys and i will see you in our next video bye bye for now sorry in here